An action potential introduced at the neuromuscular junction is propagated along the sarcolemma of the skeletal muscle. At the T-tubule, the action potential is propagated on the T-tubule membrane into the interior of the muscle cell near the ends of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The depolarization of the T-tubule membrane causes nearby voltage-gated calcium ion channels on the sarcoplasmic reticulum to open, resulting in an increase in the permeability of the sarcoplasmic reticulum to calcium ions. Calcium ions then diffuse from the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the sarcoplasm. Long filamentous tropomyosin proteins lie on two sides of the actin myofilament, covering up the sites where myosin can bind to the actin myofilament. Globular troponin proteins are attached to the tropomyosin. When calcium ions bind to troponin, this causes troponin to change conformation and move the tropomyosin. When the tropomyosin moves, this uncovers the myosin binding sites on the actin, allowing myosin heads to bind and form cross bridges. The cross bridges play a role in muscle contraction.